What have you done for me lately? Allow me to ask a question. Women at the top, what have you done for me lately? So the date was either July 9th or July 10th, 2017. The venue was RFUA Grounds. What was I doing there? I was going to watch Kenya versus Tunisia rugby game, which was amazing last year with the husband. And so we get there, um, we, get, we get our tickets, we pay for them at the, at the door. Um, we then try to look for places to sit. So we weave through the bleachers, we get a very vantage point. We go there, we sit down, we signal the peanut guy and the soda guy, and we're able to get something to bite on as we are waiting for kickoff. And just before kickoff, about maybe five minutes to kickoff, I noticed something very conspicuous. There were girls, and I must say they were very beautiful girls, um, not more than 25 years old. They looked like they were 21, 22, 23 at the very most. And they were quite a number. They were all over the stadium. And we, as I looked at them, I, I couldn't help but wonder, are they not freezing? Because I was in a hoodie, I was in jeans, I was in sneakers and it was chilly you know when it's so chilly it was july last year so you can imagine how it is now and it would it, it gets worse in july um the air is so cold that's how it was and these girls were in tiny black shorts and that revealed a considerable chunk of thigh and yellow popping vests um and it was cold and they were just you know walking around trying their best and to sell these cans of beer and for some reason, that picture just disturbed me. So what I did was the next day, I did some research, made some calls, and by Monday, I had a blog post up. And my blog post was titled, Women at the Top, What Have You Done For Me Lately? The reason I titled it that is because I realized that the, the head of the leading uh, alcoholic beverage company is a woman. Their competitor is also a woman. In these companies, they have like a head of beer or a head of spirits, a, woman, a person who leads that department, and they are women. They also have marketing heads in some of these organizations, and some of them are women. If you look at the ad and promotional agencies, they, are all, they also have their fair share of women in decision-making positions. So I'm wondering, the, there's a person who's sitting behind a desk signing a check to have girls dress the way they were dressed because the bottom line is very crucial and that person is a woman I don't understand and by the way I I vouch for women I root for women I love women I support women but this is a conversation I thought we need to have and we need to we need to to talk about when women get to the top do they do anything for women who are not there yet I watched a very amazing interview um, it was Michelle Obama being interviewed by Tracy Ellis Ross. And one of the things that Michelle Obama said is that sometimes the, the, the walk or the stride to the top, the ladder, is so hard for women that when you get there, all you do is just grab the table. You don't want to leave there. And she said you must let go of the table and advance other women. And I think that's the concern that I'm trying to raise on, in this particular conversation for Women at the top, do you look back and think about the women you left behind? Are things better for other women because you're now at the top? If you're a HR director, for instance, and you're in your 40s or in your 50s and you've climbed the corporate ladder and you're now at the top, do you think about the possibility of having a pumping station, for instance, for the women in your organization? Because perhaps your organization has 80% women they are of the childbearing age, they will get a child and they'll require to have a place to pump milk. I'm just wondering, because I feel that there should be some benefit, there should be a distinction and a difference having you as a woman at the top, because you will think about likely difficulties I would experience and perhaps remedy them for me. Am I being a bit idealistic? I don't know. I really don't think so. But Let's have this conversation. If you know a woman at the top, please tag her. Please comment, please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. The question is, women at the top, what are you doing for other women who are not at the top 
yet. In that regard, allow me to give a shout out to two amazing women who were very pivotal in my career as I began. Um, one of them was Nyambura Musimi. She was the founder and the, the managing partner of the first law firm that I worked in after law school. She was amazing. She was a woman who supported other women and supported me in my journey as I began as a young lawyer. And I must say that I'm a lot of who I am now is because of her. And also, I'd like to shout out to the late um, Violet Kibera Kimodo, who tragically passed away last year, who was my boss at some point, and she was amazing. The, the stereotype around women bosses did not feature for these two women. If you know a woman who is an amazing boss, also shout out to her. But let's keep this conversation going. If you're watching this video and you're wondering, um, I'm not a woman at the top yet. Um, I like the content, but this doesn't really relate to me. I'll let you know how it does in the next video.